Hello and welcome to the vlog. First and foremost, I want to thank you for joining me today in this particular assignment. I'm currently in month one, create a presentation, and in this particular second week assignment, I'm going to be covering storytelling discussion. This assignment is actually broken down into two parts. The first part of this assignment was to go out on YouTube, find a video that was created for consumers, and it could cover anything from the entertainment, the arts and media, or the technology sectors. And then secondly, once we watched that video, we'd create an audio presentation that would break down that video and summarize it and answer several questions. The first question was explaining the content of our story, explaining the message of it, and also giving a brief summary of what the video was about. Secondly, did the video inspire or motivate the audience? And if so, why? And then finally, discussing how did the video apply the hail method? And that we're gonna cover in just a little bit. Now, I chose to do this video as a video upload. And the reason I chose that is because I'm studying digital cinematography. And the best way to improve my presentation skills is to get in front of the camera and work to create my presentation. So, with that said, my focus is on video and I hope you enjoy. And what's gonna happen here is at the end of this video, you're gonna actually find timestamps in the description. And the timestamps are gonna break down where the actual parts of the assignment is. And so you can click right to that if you're just focusing on the assignment. So if you are a future full sale student or a current full sale student, and you're interested in some ideas, I hope this helps you out. But first, let me tell you why I chose the video that I chose. I have a passion for renewable energy, and when I saw this video, it literally talked to me. And I realized that for us to sustain as a society well into the future, that we need to take on more sustainable means. This video is titled, Let's Create a World That Runs Entirely on Green Energy. This is a Danish company that's located in Denmark and 88% of all of the energy that they produce is all from renewable energy sources. In fact, they're the largest supplier of wind energy in the world. As promised in the beginning of this segment, I was going to discuss what the hail method was and just briefly and quickly describe that for you before we get into our assignment. Now, hail stands for honesty, authenticity, integrity, and love. And it was created by a man named Julian Treasure. He created this method as a way to make videos more persuasive and trustworthy. And this is the foundation of a portion of our analyzation of this video. Let's get into breaking this video down. The video starts by depicting the importance of our homes as being part of a larger picture in the connection to the natural environment around us. It continues to describe the impacts of climate change and the changes in the natural environment that impact all of our lives. And finally, it moves to define the company's vision to change as well as the action that it's taking to create green energy. The video motivated me to envision the bigger picture of energy production that powers our whole world. It inspired me to feel that it is important for a company to address its own negative environmental impacts and ways to move towards a more positive solution and it making a public commitment to act and not just rely on mere words. The video, in my opinion, addresses all elements of the Hale Method. It shows honesty in that a company defines how it feels climate change is impacting the environment around us, as well as how previously was adding to the problem and what it needed to do to address the issues. The company, I believe, shows its authenticity by making me feel that it was not hiding the fact that it played a significant role in the changes that were needed as an industry leader. I was compelled by the company's integrity 
as it described how it was making a commitment to action and not just mere words. I felt that it was telling me how it needed to be stronger morally. Finally, the video spoke to me in a way of love, in that it used video clips that showed real life and how humans connect with the environment, and that it requires a cleaner, sustainable future, and that love requires action. Thank you for joining me today. That concludes our assignment. I hope that you enjoyed watching it as much as I have enjoyed creating it. I know it's just a small piece, but all these little tidbits will help us become better presenters as well as think of better ways that we can address topics and address issues within those topics. Join me next time. And with that said, I will see you in the next video.